Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. Um, today's video is going to be my very first luxury haul video. So if you're already a follower, you would have known that I took a month off over the holidays. I went back home to Saipan to be with family. I usually go back home every Christmas and New Year's time. And during that vacation, my family and I and Jamie, we also just took a short quick trip to Guam. Guam is like 45 minutes away. So I knew going to Guam, I wanted to take advantage of the shopping out there. So there were a lot of bags that I had been eyeing before going on this trip, but I had to contain myself and I just kept telling myself to wait, wait until you get to Saipan and to Guam to do your shopping because sometimes the stuff out there is a little less expensive. Um, so I just wanted to wait and see and if there was nothing then so be it. So that was my mindset with making these purchases. Um, so before we actually really get into the haul portion of the video, I just want to start off by saying that I never do luxury hauls like this. Um, you guys do see me take photos and show some of my nicer stuff um, in the videos, but I don't ever really go in too much detail about my nicer things like designer bags and things like that. Stuff like that I don't ever really talk about, so I just want to preface it by letting you guys know that this video is by no means me showing off or anything like that. I am just not that kind of person, which is why I barely ever talk about it. Also, I know that these bags that I'm going to be talking about are very expensive, which is why I waited a long time. I hadn't bought a bag in a while, um, but I also just want to let you guys know that you know, Jamie and I, we live within our means. These purchases were gonna put us over the edge. I would not make them. And also I work extremely hard for everything that I have purchased and all of this stuff I purchased on my own. And lastly, if you guys are offended by this type of video, then just please exit. You don't have to watch this. You already know by the title what this video is about so you know what you're getting yourself into. So if you don't like videos like this, then you can just please quietly leave. I would really appreciate that. I know some of you guys are gonna want to talk about um, how the money I used on these bags could go to certain things, but this video is not about that. Um, so again, if that is something you feel like you're compelled to do, I would just kindly ask you to just quietly exit. I do not want any negativity around this video. I do consider myself a very humble person, which is why I have not made a video like this yet, but since you guys seem to really want to see what I got on my trip, um, I decided why not, you know, just let's just do it. So I took a couple selfies on my Instagram and I asked you guys which bag you think I got. So basically I took some store selfies of some of the bag choices that I was looking at and I asked you guys, which do you think I got? Which do you think I ended up with? So. These are some of the choices, some of the bags that I was looking at. A lot of you guys guessed correct, um, but one of the bags I actually didn't show in that photo, which is the first bag I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I got a Bottega pouch bag. So this is a dust bag that it came in. Funny story about this bag. So when it first came out, I was like, eh, I don't know. And then I fell in love with it. And then I started seeing so many people with this bag. And then I was like, mm, I don't know if I want something that I feel like I'm seeing on everyone. But then I just kept on liking it. I kept on loving it. And I kept on just thinking about it. And so I would always browse the Bottega site. Um, it would be sold out and then it would come back and then I went on my Teresa and they had like one of these bags left and it was I think $300 cheaper than on the Bottega site um, and then I didn't act quick enough so someone bought it and I was like you know what it's not meant to be so whatever I'm not gonna push it then as the day got closer that I was going to Saipan I called the Bottega store in Saipan and I asked them if they had this bag and they said they didn't when I went to Saipan I went to the Bottega store they only had this bag in black so I even called the Guam Bottega because I knew I was going to Guam I asked them do you have this bag in this color and they said no so when we actually went to Guam we were walking around and I just so happened to see the Bottega store 
So I just walked in, not thinking they were gonna have it. Um, and then I looked around, they didn't have it on display. And then I asked, hey, do you have this bag in this color? And they said, yeah, one second. And so they bring the bag out and I'm like, how crazy is it that this bag is available? It's not even on display. And I think they literally just got it in. Um, and then I asked how much it was and it ended up being $400 cheaper than the Bottega site and $100 cheaper than my Teresa. So I felt like it was meant to be. I waited, I waited, and the cheapest that I've ever found it, not that it's cheap because it's still very expensive, um, but I just had to get it. I also felt a lot better knowing that I saved quite a bit of money on it. So this is what this beautiful bag looks like. I just think this bag is great for every day for day and night i think this bag goes with pretty much anything like you could use it with a casual jeans outfit you could use it with like a blazer outfit you could use it with a suit i just think this bag is so versatile and this color um first of all they have a ton of colors which are all beautiful but this was just the color that i gravitated towards um i feel like it goes really well with a lot of my wardrobe and i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this so this is one of the main reasons why I just decided to bite the bullet on it was because I know that I'm going to be able to wear this bag a lot and that's one of the things that I justify when buying a designer item. I always justify, try to justify how much use and how much wear I'm going to get out of the item and that helps me determine if it's worth it or not for me to purchase it. So this is what the bag looks like. It's very large. They do have smaller versions of this. It fits so much. This leather is super, super buttery, and that's just how it closes. It is like a magnet, and I don't know, it's just very, very cute. I've been using this bag nonstop since I got back. It's just really, really pretty, and I'm glad that I ended up getting it. So I will leave um, links for this bag, and I'll try to find um, less expensive ones from different sites if I can. All right, bag number two. Um, a lot of you guys really liked this bag, it is a Chanel bag. This is the dust bag that it came in. I don't have anything like this in my closet. For years, I've been talking about getting a red bag. I feel like I already gave it away. Um, but this is, basic, oops, this is basically what it looks like. It's a tiny little, cute little bag. Let me just take off all the paper. So this is what it looks like. So it's not really red. It's kind of like a coral orangey fiery red as soon as i saw this as soon as i walked into the chanel store in guam i just quickly gravitated towards it i was wearing a white outfit and i you know obviously tried this on against my white outfit and i just loved the way it looks you guys know i wear a lot of whites a lot of off whites a lot of different shades of white and even with the shirt i have on right now i like the way it looks um and then i also really liked the size i have a lot of bigger bags and i like taking a lot of like resort beach vacation so i felt like this was something that i could always take with me to go with all my white outfits and it's not too big it's not too small i could just use it as a crossbody so let me just show you guys um what it actually fully looks like so it's nice because it has a little top handle right here it says chanel right here and it is in like a matte gold and then it has this long chain strap but i like that they add this leather part right here for the shoulder because i hate it when you're cold and then the strap is all chain and then it touches your skin because then you just get really cold so that's what the front seas look like twist that open and then you have three different slots right here so it's pretty roomy i also do like how it has that separation it helps keep you organized you guys know i'm a very neutral person so something like this is just very different for me but i do feel like again i'm gonna have a lot of use for it i already have so many ideas of outfits i could wear it with i have not worn this one yet just because i was waiting to film this video to actually unbox it with you guys so a lot of you guys loved this one and we're hoping that this was one of the ones that i was gonna get and you're right and then last but not least um i did purchase another chanel bag and i feel like if you have been following me um, regarding the bag reveal then you may have guessed it so let's see what it looks like i ended up getting the blue flap 
bag. So let's open it up. This is what it looks like. Ah, I just get like speechless. I'm just so in love with this little bag. Um, what is there to say? This is a really pretty blue color. Um, this is very hard to find, very limited. They had, it was a cross between this and the pink one. So let me just show you the pink one. And I really liked the pink one. However, there was just something about this blue one that overruled the pink. So again, just to show you, this is what the pink looks like. And this is what the blue looks like. So basically this is the pink and this is the blue so there was just something about the blue that I just loved more than the pink I just felt like it popped more it's just such a beautiful blue color and then the hardware is like a champagne gold so it's not a very bright gold like they normally do um, so it's nice if you're a silver jewelry wearer then this would kind of come off more silver if you're gold this will come off more gold so it's very versatile with the hardware another thing that i loved about it was that it was in the chevron so as you can see right here it's chevron design um and i always am so in love whenever chanel does anything chevron i just think it makes the bag look a little more edgy a little more like new school chanel more modern so i really loved that this was the chevron one and then this is in the size medium so let's open it up so it's a flap it does have a zipper here flap goes up and then on the inside you have this pocket right here and then you have the bigger pocket right here and then these two little compartments here where you can store like your lipstick or whatever you need so to me this bag is kind of like a neutral even though it's a blue color because it's not such a crazy like bright type of blue um it would go with any like jean outfit that i'm wearing again it goes really nice with all my white outfits it even goes nicely with like off white this would also look really pretty against beige colors so i have a lot of those types of colors so i wasn't worried about whether or not i was going to get a lot of wear out of this again cost per wear that's how i justify it but yeah isn't she just a beauty so i still to this day love every single bag i purchase there's not one of these bags that i'm like oh i wish i got a different color i wish i got a different bag or i wish i didn't get that bag um so i'm still very happy with my purchases the thing that i do like about chanel bags in particular is that they do hold their value and also these are items that i could pass down to my kids so anyway that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more luxury hauls if you guys want to know whenever i buy luxury items let me know in the comments below um, if you want to see more of this if you found this interesting um, so again i will try to link every single item in the video down in the description box below i know some of these are a little more limited edition so i may not have um, the exact links but i'll probably just link some alternatives that are similar thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video leave me a comment let me know which bag was your favorite and again if you're not a subscriber and if you're new to my channel i'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button down below you can also follow me on instagram i'm just at naomi boyer it was great spending time with you i hope you'll come back and see me on my next video have a good day